I received a mysterious package today. It's quite heavy. And I can feel inside that it has something like dice in it. There's a hardcover book inside, but I don't recognize the sender. The sender's listed as Magpie Games, and while that sounds like the kind of place I would order from, it just, the memory's not coming. People send me stuff from time to time, so I suppose it could be a gift, but I don't know. So I'm filming this because it's weird. So we'll look inside, and that will, of course, easily solve the mystery of what it is. This this is the smaller, like, trade paperback size. It's hardcover. So the only thing I can remember ordering with dice that's like that is John Wick's Curse of the Yellow Sign uh, series of adventures for Call of Cthulhu. Maybe this is it. I don't know. I would expect that to say John Wick Presents. Tearing it open, I see that it's black, so now I'm convinced it has to be Curse of the Yellow Sign. Now, yeah. One-handed. Ah, we can solve it by looking at the dice, but no. The the dice for this project were supposed to have yellow sign indicators on them on one face, and I don't know, maybe I'm blind, I can't see them. Okay. But I do see the yellow sign. Oh no, I've seen the yellow sign. The rest of this clip is going to fall to madness. Watch me fumble. Unable to remove a book from a package with just one hand. Okay. <laughs> Sanity returns. Turn the camera off. Take the book out. And you can see it is the yellow sign. We have a black dust jacket over a gray book. John Wick. This Kickstarter project was to update and re-release the three acts, or basically one-night scenarios, all coupled together as Curse of the Yellow Sign, dealing with the famous Robert Chambers uh, book of short stories, The King in Yellow, which had four stories uh, all loosely connected by the idea of a play that drove people mad and what would happen if you saw the yellow sign or were exposed to the madness within that play. The play itself would drive the audience and its players insane. It's kind of an interesting conceit that goes around in the background of the stories. And so these scenarios that Wick has created allow you to play through that to experience that from the inside. And each one of the acts exposes you to people who have read the play or exposes you to the play itself. This was a well-organized and well-run Kickstarter by John Wick, where 445 backers produced a little more than $16,000 to, to repackage and update these scenarios, including this print edition of the scenarios. Communication was clear and regular. There wasn't an abundance of it. At all the key points, we received the information we needed. Now, I'm not sure if it was ever intended that the print release and the PDF release match. They were just, we were just given a July completion date. Well, we got the PDF in August and then the print proofs were done in September and the books are ready to be shipped out in October and I live in Korea and I've received my book and it's the beginning of November. So there's been clear communication all the way through that process. Let's talk about the dice. Now when I first took the dice out of the package I could not see the yellow sign which I suppose is a good thing but now of course that they've been jumbled around a bit I found it. There's a yellow sign on the d6 and there's a yellow sign on the d10. They replace the highest number, the 6 and the 10, respectively. And this is a nice looking set of dice. There were two dice options that were mentioned during the Kickstarter. One for a whole bunch of d6s and then this one. And I couldn't really remember which one I had selected. Now that I see these, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. This is a nice looking set of dice. It's all the dice you need for a Call of Cthulhu session. Probably more dice than you'll need for these scenarios. And so, excellent. It's all a win. In the introduction to the book, Wick has this to say. The three scenarios in this book are not adventures, nor are they mysteries. There are no monsters or cultists, no murders to solve, no moldy tomes, no spells, and no magic items. Just ordinary human beings who must face the raw, merciless power of the universe. If that sort of atmospheric roleplay appeals to you, then these scenarios will definitely help you bring that about. Most of the book is GM advice, tricks, props, and things that help you produce that atmosphere, 
that very nihilistic world of chambers. An inspiration of Lovecraft and very much not the same sort of thing at all. Chambers, as Wick rightly notes, is not something, and the, the style of story that Chambers produced is not something that we see really represented in Call of Cthulhu very often, if at all. And the way that most groups choose to play it, well, that's another thing entirely. Anyway, a well-run Kickstarter and a good delivery. As a backer, I am very happy to have seen the yellow sign.